Hello, we are back. We are on episode 17 of our Guild Wars 1 Prophecies playthrough. We find ourselves in the Maguma region of Tyria, which is this western area. We just finished Divinity Coast, the last Krita mission, for now, anyway. Uh, we saved some, or we were trying to escort some... Uh, I don't know, some chosen people from the White Mantle. They were part of some ritual. And they got abducted by the Shining Blade, this terrorist group that is uh, attacking the White Mantle. We're going to be hunting them as part, of our, as part of our primary quest. But we definitely... I got so many quests here. We definitely want to do these Maguma Jungle quests because we can unlock some new skills. And that's what Guild Wars is all about at least the way that we are playing it because as if you've been following this playlist you know we are playing a nostalgia rules which is pretty much an old school way of playing the game where you cannot use your stash to use overpowered high level weapons you cannot use heroes i have one hero actually but i'm not going to use them you just got to play it as if this is like back in high school 2005 when i was in high school and you're just playing it as as nature intended if we do get some human players that's a bonus but we're kind of playing this as a solo rpg not an mmo rpg but an s o r p solo online rpg uh anyway we're keeping our skill bar we're playing domination mes mesmer uh, I'm kind of happy with this. If we get some... Ooh. I spend my attributes. Put them in some fast casting. And inspiration. Uh, we are using, yeah, damaging spells, energy draining spells, some interrupt. A little bit of everything the Mesmer has to offer. And let's get going. Mr. Thomas is leading our charge here. We are hunting down the evil Shining Blade monsters. Radical Shining Blade group. Right, but we're not doing that yet. We're doing Eye for Profit first, which is going to lead us around that way. Then we're going to do this mysterious mess message. We're going to go all the way down. So a lot of exploring in this episode. We'll probably just get to the next mission area by the end of this episode. So if you're hoping to see just missions, feel free to skip this one and go to episode 18 where we play the next mission. But if you're down for some nostalgic exploration, do it. Ooh, a gold right off the bat. Of course, nothing for us. It's something for another class. But let's see it. Maybe we. Maybe it's gonna be like highly valuable or something. Energy plus four while hexed. Half skill recharge of spells. Hmm, not good. But look at the value of that. 224 gold. Very nice. I don't know if it's me. But I see it. Like, I remember the first time I ever got, like, a purple item. I can remember the first purple item that I got in this game. It was a... It was an axe. It was a frost enchanted axe. Damage enchanted axe. Like that's how that's how significant it was my first playthrough to get it. And I know for a fact I didn't get it until like down here in one of these explorable areas. It's crazy how like you remember such a specific memory like that. But in this playthrough I've been getting golds gold drops all the way back in like Ascalon. I got some gold drops. I feel like they buffed the drop rate in this game. Because I don't think we're I don't think we're that lucky, you know? 
And I'm not even talking from opening chest. I'm just talking from regular drops. Leave a comment below if you have some similar anecdotes. We are going to be keeping our collector's items because we saw a collector at the end of last episode that is offering very high armor equipment. High defense rating equipment. I should be... What's... What's shaking the ground? Is it these guys? I know they're earth elementalists. But it's like, why is it shaking so much? I should be... Crazy. Why is my screen shaking? Oh. I should be trying to interrupt these guys. There we go. Nice interrupt there. This cry of frustration is a really nice interrupt skill. AoE interrupt, AoE damage. Problem is, my reaction time is pretty horrible. You guys hurt, man. Got that interrupt. Oh, I missed the second one. Yeah, it must be these guys shaking the screen. Let's put some energy reduction on these guys. Chatter enchantment. Yeah, my, my, I'm pretty happy with the skill bar. Got AoE damage. It's got spike damage. It's got interrupts. It's got energy reduction. It's got healing. It's got enchantment removal. The only thing it's missing is hex removal. That would be nice to have. want to keep wastrels worry on all these guys so. if you pair wastrels worry and then successfully interrupt their next skill they do they'll take massive damage because it's basically 73 damage after the three seconds plus the 55 damage that'll do like at this level it'll take it'll do like half a skill bar problem with mesmer is it's the high there's a high skill ceiling with Mesmer, I feel like. A lot of decision making to make. A lot of decision make a lot of decisions to make in a battle. Sometimes I try to anticipate the um, AI when they're about to cast a spell, but just like then I was pretty off. And zoom in a little bit more on my character so we can get a look at the scenery. This is another this is another quest I usually chose to just bypass. Because by this stage of the game, you've done so many um so many missions and quests that you're just like, okay, get me to level 20, get me to Drakenar's Forge. And so this is where it becomes pretty common to just skip some of the quests. But there's a lot of cool content in here. Oh, they use Cry of Frustration too. Alright, so this is Eye for Profit. What does he want us to do? We need to look for a beast called Gale Stormsend. Take his eyeball. Uh, come here when I've been around. One thrust from my mighty blade in their history. Did you need my help? Found the beast, my lord. Versailles sent after, sent me after. It was to the north by a large waterfall. But we gotta go up there now. Looks like this road, if we continue this road, it'll kind of snake up that way. I hope that's the case. Because you know how much I hate backtracking. I want to keep progressing forward. Fight some more enemies. Get some more loot. Really hard to interrupt Esmers because their fast casting is just too good.
good time to see to use what racial's worry actually is right after they do like one or two skills by that time they'll be maybe out of their skill bar their skills they're on cooldown they're out of energy because even though although we have a full skill bar most of these enemies i think only have like four maybe four skills four or five skills that they're cycling through so you wait till they cast a few. Cast Wastrels. Wastrels worry. Of course, in this case, they're kind of spamming. Alright, I'm going to need to override Henchman's AI. This game has a very. Like, obviously, there's elevation differences. But the way the aggro works is kind of annoying because the aggro ring and the ability to interact with, with each other, it, it only follows like a two-dimensional distance. It doesn't take into advantage like vertical distance. Quite annoying. It makes sense to do that for people on the high elevation, but on the lower elevation, shouldn't really be able to attack you know something vertically far away or there should be a there should be a limit but yeah if you're like raining arrows down from high up that's a pretty cool concept pretty cool touch Gotta love the Chaos Storm. Oh, this is the boss. Level 20 boss at that. Interesting. We're fighting some powerful enemy. The only thing our skill bar is missing is we're kind of geared more towards faster disruption. These warriors now, melee enemies, are. all we can do is just kind of damage them. Range die. We use it. We got a pink die and orange die. Pink mass. What does the orange look like? I kind of like the green. <laughs> I'm kind of digging the pink vest. Not bad. Pink pants. No, no thanks. Pink shoes. Definitely. Not. Let's do. Let's rock the pink vest. And how about some orange pants? Not bad. Little makeover. Mid exploration. Mainly I just want to clear up some inventory space and I don't want to throw them away and selling them, they'll, they're worth like 100 gold maybe. Maybe not even that, probably like 10 gold. Get some double chaos form on these dudes. Dang, that's a lot of damage. Doing like 40 damage a second. Whenever they're doubled up. Oh, my chaos storms. Let's get away from... See, this is what I'm talking about. There's no reason those guys down there should be able to see us or attack us way up here. But because the aggro ring exists two-dimensionally... Yeah. I'm complaining about a 25 year old game. <laughs> 20 year old game. Energy burn is nice. It's kind of like a. It do, it's good versus casters. And it does some decent damage, but I think we're going to replace that eventually with something else. If we ever get an elite skill, that would be a good one to replace. There's a lot of elite skills that just... We haven't even talked about elite skills, actually. You'll see. What's my enchanter doing? Enchanter henchman. Just getting melted. That or that 
Two minutes. Oh, I got they interrupt last second. Let's go. Oh, it's aftershock. That's what they're casting. That's why my melee henchmen are just getting destroyed. Uh, aftershock shakes the screen. Some of you were watching earlier. You're probably screaming at the screen. I was complaining about it shaking. So, oh, what? Oh, we got we got pincer attacked. I'm not sure. I need to pay attention to the map or something because it seems like every time we're really dying, it's mainly not nearly because of the skill or the level difference. But it seems like we're not paying attention to the patrol patterns. Those thorn, thorny elementalists really screw things up. I need to be focusing on my chaos storms. Nuke them down like that. Best case. That's better. We do get experience from the enemies, so... We need set of 7.5k. Old seed collectors. Have we found any take old seed? I think so. We're gonna have plenty of thorny carapaces, though, if we stay in this area long. Don't be such in a hurry. Yeah, these. I'm just casting in the exact same spot. Get both of them going like that. These Thorn Devourer drones, the, the Devourers are not really an issue. The Elementalists. And my henchmen, they just stay clumped up like that. This area would really punish us if we were melee. If we were a fighter or something, this would be a really annoying area. Wow, it's a nice view. I think I'm gonna need to do a quick picture here. All right, we just took a quick picture. Restart, I'm gonna edit that out anyway. Quick selfie for the thumbnail. Alright, not a thumb selfie, but you got it. you know what I mean. So how do we get down there? I guess we need to go this way. Do the loop around there. Yeah, okay. There's the road going down that way. This is where we died last time though. Our team got wiped here, I think. And I ended up running this way we're gonna take this slow and we're gonna fi figure out how did we get pincer attacked like that when people pop up down here take them out got a nice interrupt on that power shot actually that was cool Don't run past anyone. I think that's the trick. I mean, everything will die to a double if they're standing in a double chaos storm like that. We're making progress. If you stuck around this long, you're gonna see us. You know, this game is about failures, making yourself back up. And not giving up. Do what you set out to do. We're gonna do these quests. Got. 
Be careful. I think we're entering spider territory here. Or scarab territory. Yep, there they are. Anytime you see trees in Guild Wars 1, there's a pretty high chance it's going to be spider town. These, these little guys are horrible. Get off a nice interrupt on them. Nope, missed it. Need a faster reaction time, man. Because they're, they're melee. They're basically necro warriors. Because they are melee, they hit hard, and they cast these point blank uh, blood magic skills that just do a lot of damage and they steal a lot of health. Got that nice interrupt there. Always satisfying. They're coming around this corner. I didn't see any of those elementalists. I think, you know what I think? I think we had that Brothers Fury quest active. It was making a lot more extra enemies. Because now that we completed that mission, there's a lot fewer enemies, it seems. At least not so high level and not so many of those elementalists. Plus, you know, I'm just making it up. I'm delusional. I am fighting Mesmers. But don't. Uh, no, let's keep up. I for profit. Almost there. This is definitely going to be ambush spot. Yep, before I can even finish that sentence. Oops. Bad finger that. We're just trying to keep consistent damage up. They don't really have they have the blood magic skill, but the good new the good thing is that they're they're not like mixed parties. They're just like a pack of rangers or a pack of necros, a pack of elementalists. The diversity of our party is what gives us the strength. Our mental melt. That's a weird last name. It looks almost like a typo. Oh, we aggroed way too much. Uh, we might be dead here. We aggroed the boss mob, and we got got ahead of myself, man. Pick out the spiders first. Yeah, we're dead. Ah, I'm gonna edit this out too. <laughs> this is gonna be an editing heavy episode. Got that heal off to the last second, but it's not gonna matter. I go. Oh. oh, my team's alive. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Got some spells. Try and kill one of these guys. We'll edit that out. We just got okay. We're back to our area. Uh, luckily, we could edit that out for the viewers at home. They didn't have to endure that long, boring run back here. We're here. We're angry. We didn't over aggro. We are gonna be taking these guys out. And they got a lot of got a lot of skills. Keep interrupting like that. That's perfect. Kill up. These mesmers, man, they just do tons of damage. Armor doesn't matter. Oh, we over aggroed our stupid stupid henchmen over aggroed there. 
We killed him though. We don't need to come back here. Kill them. We don't need to win this fight actually. We can just Oh no, we didn't kill him. So rough work. Okay. We're back here. We are back. We uh made a lot of trips back and forth. We keep making some aggro mistakes. Mainly due to not micromanaging my heroes well enough. Kind of Leroy's Leroy Jenkin Jenkinsing every fight. Also, I'm not really healing myself. Prior I'm not prioritizing healing. Just focusing on interrupts and damage, so that's my bad. We're gonna go through here slow. We're not gonna over aggro. I'm gonna keep my warrior henchmen back. I'm gonna be pulling them with some arrows. They, my warrior still charged in, didn't they? Pull them back a little bit. We do not want to bring in the boss mob. Having only one monk is also really, really taxing on our party. But one level 12 monk is just not, not enough healing power. Let's clear out every spider. And I'm going to pull this mob away from the spiders and jade scarabs. I'll come back here. Back here. Okay. Now we can fight him. Keep some chaos storms on this guy. Our monk's gonna go down, but so is their boss, I believe. Oops, did not mean to put that on there. Wow, rough. He just spams Aether Feast, man. Can't, can't out damage him at level 18. Keep a chaos storm on top of them. I should do it. Got him. Oh, jeez. Let's use the chakra level ten or energy ten. Oh, I wasn't not even using my equipment. No, I like the flame artifact. It gives us plus thirty health. We have enough energy if I have my cane equipped. Alright, this is tough, man. This game got significantly harder, I gotta admit it. This nostalgia rules. This will be a highly edited video as well. Almost at the end of this quest. This quest feels like a mission, I'm telling you. Go back and kill these guys because I don't want any surprises. And it's pretty good experience. I think we've we've gotten like at least two thousand experience so far from trying to do these quests. I didn't think this was going to be such a high level quest, actually. Sometimes the quests are harder than the missions. Let's get that gold. 
happening. I think we've made like 600 gold or so. Six or seven hundred gold. Wow, look at that. Oh, okay, I thought they were all together. Let's keep our enemy, our heroes pinned up there, henchmen, and I'm gonna. Aggro them up here. Blow them up, blow them up. Gotta play it safe. A lot of shame to do it like this. So many enemies. All clumped together like that. Did we aggro? Oh, okay. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Yeah, we all- it's like we aggroed them or something. We can fight these guys. There we go. Doing all these fights though, I think we're gonna have plenty of collector's items. Wow, how did we aggro those guys down there? Are you kidding me? Fighters, I guess. Jeez, I've never had this much trouble from ranger enemies. Okay. I think we're okay. Uh, I keep wasting my arcane echo on Wastrel's worry. Come on, monk. Oh, he is resurrecting. Okay. Keep our health up. If we keep our health up, our healer has an easier time. Oh, she died. Oh, it's a boss. Keep his energy down. Interrupt that skill. We go down. Man, this is tough. Where is the boss at? There it is. Gale Stormson. Level 18 Mesmer. I don't think it should have any ads though because... If it did, we would see them because these these wind riders don't just pop up out of nowhere. But they look. I think I think this is one of those fights where it looks like they're spread out, but once we aggro the boss, they're all gonna combine condense down into one group. So let's take out the ads. Slowly, chocolate bunny. The garage, that's it. Isn't that for Easter? What a random drop. Hmm. Alright, Gale Storm, send. Come to destroy you. Get rid of all your energy. Missed that. Just gonna spam energy stealing spells. Even though he's level 18. Oh, this thing heals us. One health regeneration while standing here. Wow, that's cool. I'm guessing he's got it too. Keep all of our guys in the water then. Got it. Jeez, what a hard quest. Okay. 
Let's go now to the wilds. So we got five in one point five K experience to cash in from these quests. Still not gonna be enough to get us to level fifteen. We're just gonna be under level this whole way through. I guess if we get really desperate, we can go back to Ascalon and Shiver Peaks and do some questing there. I seem to remember doing that in my first playthrough. And then if we're really, really in trouble, I might bring out the hero. Level 20 hero. He can just clean house. Alright, let's see. I think the direction we need to go is just right up here. I think this is the end of this straight up. We did it, people. We finished this area. This was the hardest explorable area by far, I must say. Is the wild a outpost or is it an explorable area? It sounds like it sounds like an explorer area, not an outpost, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure it's not an outpost. Oh nice, it's a mission area. We did it! We got to the mission area. Turn in our quest. Oh, this was rough. I gotta say this was real rough. Uh, what does he want? Authority of Confessor Dorian himself. Stay a moment and hear what I have to say. La da 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 da. While the Jester Tom is raged toward the heretics who slew his brother is understandable, we cannot afford to send scores of knights to un on a frontal assault into an unmapped jungle, all the while allowing the undead to march unchecked across the Crichton countryside. So yeah, we're on this we're on this quest to go through the jungle to get these shining blade people, but. There's still a undead threat in Krita. Alright, let's go back now and turn in our quest. A mysterious message we have to go down there. Let's just do I for profit then. We'll have to turn in the mysterious message later. Get this hex breaker skill. What does it do? Stance. The next time you are the Target of a hex, that hex fails, and the caster takes 34 damage. Does that mean this stance ends also? It doesn't say this stance ends. Huh. What an interesting skill. Let's let's use it instead of shatter enchantment for now, because we weren't really using that. Air attunement, we know what that does. Okay. We did it. It took us an hour to finish that quest thing. From your, from your perspective, it's going to be shorter because I'm going to do some heavy editing to make this a uh, watchable video. But anyway, thanks for watching. And it's nice getting some comments. And it seems like people are following along in the playthrough. Uh, I will finish this. Thanks to, and thanks to your support, it's going to become much easier to do so. To keep diligent. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, whatever, and I'll see you guys next time for episode 18, The Wilds.